In this example, I have a function here, g of x, and it equals negative one-fourth m x squared plus 2nx plus n. And you know when you graph a quadratic function, it's going to be a parabola, and I know that the vertex of that parabola is going to be this ordered pair, negative 2, 2. So looking at my function, it looks like x is my independent variable, so here's my x squared and my x, so this is my quadratic term and my linear term, and this plus n is just the constant here. And so we're looking for values for m and n that will make this true. That'll fill it in, we'll have a nice quadratic function in standard form, and its vertex will be negative 2, 2. If you'd like to go ahead and try this problem on your own, go ahead and pause the video and do so, and come on back and we'll work a solution together. All right, so we need to be using some relationships that we know here. So in functions, we have kind of this input-output business where this is my x, my input, and this is my y, my output. So I know that in my function, if I plug a negative 2 in here, I'm going to get out a positive 2, okay, input-output, which means that when I plug a negative 2 in for this x and this x, this entire expression actually equals positive 2, which is that y value. So let's go ahead and look at that first to see what, uh, what will transpire. So negative one-fourth m times negative two squared plus two n times negative two and then plus that n. And that equals uh, my two right there. Okay, let's just kind of simplify this a little. So negative two squared, well negative two times negative two is positive four. So that positive four and that positive four will cancel each other out. So it looks like I have negative m, and then right here it looks like minus 4n plus n equals 2, and I can just kind of wrap this up, so negative m minus 3n equals 2, and we have a nice relationship going right here between m and n, but that's only one piece of information that we're using because we have one equation, but still two variables, m and n. So we're going to have to use some other piece of information, some other relationship that exists, so we can go ahead and finish getting these values for m and n. Well, I know that when we're dealing with the vertex of a quadratic function in standard form, remember standard form will be ax squared plus bx plus c, I know the x-coordinate of the vertex can be written as the opposite of b over 2a. Well, okay, well the b is just this coefficient for the linear term, and the a is just the leading coefficient. I also know that the x-value of my vertex was given to me, and that's negative 2. Well, let's go ahead and plug in everything I know. So the opposite of b. So my b-value is 2n. So it'll be the opposite of 2n over 2 times a. Well, my a value is this leading coefficient, which looks like negative 1 fourth m. So it's going to be 2 times negative 1 fourth m. Okay, well, I know that's going to equal negative 2. So I have another equation right here, but uh, it looks kind of messy. Let's clean this up a little bit. So we have negative 2n in the numerator. The denominator looks like, well, put that 2 over 1, it looks like that guy will cancel with that guy. We've got another, a little negative 1 half m down there equals negative 2. So let's just go ahead and multiply both sides of this equation by negative 1 half m. So on the left side, those will cancel. Uh, I'll end up with negative 2n equals, so negative 2 times negative 1 half. Actually, that'll all just cancel. So m equals negative 2n. Well, that will work very, very nicely with the equation from up here. So let's go ahead and rewrite them and put them together. So I have m equals negative 2n, and I also have negative m minus 3n equals 2. So it's a nice system. I can use substitution on it. I'll go ahead and substitute this negative 2n in for m. So it will look like this, minus 3n equals 2. So 2n minus 3n equals 2. So it looks like n will equal negative 2. Well, that's great. Let's go ahead and plug it back in right there. And that means that if n is negative 2, then m will be 4. 
All right, so let's go ahead and put all of this information together and let's write this function g of x. All right, so we knew that my g of x is negative 1 fourth mx squared plus 2nx plus n. So let's just plug everything in. So it's negative 1 fourth times m x squared plus 2 times n x plus n, which is negative 2. All right, so the 4s will cancel. It looks like I'll end up with a negative x squared minus 4x minus 2. And that will be my function g of x. And so at the beginning, we were given a function, a quadratic function in standard form. And we were looking for values for m and n, but we did know one important uh, piece of information. We knew the vertex. It was negative 2, 2. So we, we were able to use some relationships that we have to write a couple of equations. We solved this system of equations, and then we plugged in everything we knew. And there's our function, g of x.